just one foot. <laughs> can you, would someone without a camera, stand next to her and just add some balance for her? So she can put your hand, your, her hand on your shoulder if you're tall enough. Maybe someone a little bit taller. <laughs> Is there a guy without a camera who's a little bit taller? Okay. So, Conyasa. the first thing I have to do in this Conyasa. tape job is you might want to come to this side of <laughs> yeah, my cameras. Side. Oh. Or that way too. Too late. The first thing I have to do is define the border of the tibia. Okay? So if you actually palpate straight down the leg, you'll feel a rough bony part, and that's the border of the tibia. Mm -hmm. So we have tibia, we have fibula that's going to come through here, and the tip post is going to come up and be on the deep portion of the tibia. Now, another review for your exam on Monday. There are certain muscles that go through the tarsal tunnel on the medial side of the foot. Tip post is one of them. Can you remember the other ones? Halicus longus? Yeah. Uh, halicus longus. What's the acronym Wait. that we want to remember? Digitorum longus? Tom, Dick, and not Harry. Very good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tom, tip post. Dick is flexor digitorum longus. End is the artery. Knot is the nerve. Harry, which is flexor hallucis longus. Okay? Arm, dick, not Harry. And arm, <laughs> dick, and not Harry. Anyone remember those? Those are the muscles and the arteries and nerves are in your notes that go through the tarsal tunnel on the medial side of the leg. Mm -hmm. Important to know for your test. Okay? So we're going to support through that area by coming up with our circulars in the angle of the muscle. So, typically they're going to have pain through here. Now sometimes you might add a compression pad, so I sometimes add a little compression pad through, through here so that it adds and re, um, some pressure to the area. Now we don't have that, so we're just going to use our tape. And where you're going to start is just below the area of pain. So she's going to have pain usually right through here is where she'll have pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the anterior side. You're a little bit um, lotioned. lotioned. I might need another model. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold that down there because she's a little bit lotiony. I'm going to loop around. Now, as I come around, mm -hmm. it's not going to stick. <laughs> I'm going to approximate the muscle of the bone. So, come up in a bit of a diagonal. You are way too lotiony. So. <laughs> like so. Okay. I'm going to come again from that border, from that tibia. You can feel the tibia. Go around. I'm overlapping by half. Overlapping by half. And when I get the back, I'm going to approximate up onto the bone. Okay? Again, going by half. So you want to pull the bone. Yeah. Now, you don't want to be pulling tight all the way around. What happens if you try to pull tight all the way around? You're going to cut off circulation. Exactly. So I'm going to seal, and I'm going to, so I seal and pull. Okay, and I'm going to seal and pull. <coughs> I'm going to seal. It's not a matter of time, it's a matter of pain. So on your exam, I'm going to draw on the person an area of pain, and you're going to have to cover that area. Okay, mm -hmm. and then that's it. So at that point, you can just lay a nice uh, sealing piece if it's a uh, thing at the bottom. And a sealing piece here. Make sure it's molded, and that would be <coughs> part one of the tape job. Then you're going to do your plantar fascia tape job to elevate that arch, and that's the tib post. Now, a couple key features. Let's do a quick review. Plantar fasciatus, we go in what direction? Lateral to medial. Lateral to medial. Our horseshoes on our ankle strips go in what direction? Medial. This one here, for tib post, we go... Very good. If you can remember that you're reapproximating to post, it's here. You will, won't have to think about it, but you have to know that for this one, we're going to go from lateral to medial. And why that's important is because we're going to do tib ant. Come to the side. Switch your legs. Now the tib ant is here. Okay. It's going to respond. If you can pull up on your toes, so push up, push. See this tendon? That's the tendon of tib ant. It goes all the way up here. The person's going to have pain on the lateral side, okay? Pain is going to have of a right up here. Now, because she has um, a calf here, and we're using zinc oxide tape, we're not going to tape for the calf with zinc oxide tape. It doesn't have any give. 
It's not going to expand with the muscle. So the way we're going to help this tape job is actually by doing it lower down to stop preventing it from pulling off before it gets there. Now the key thing here, just stand on, add some weight. The key thing here is to remember <coughs> that we're reapproximating tib ant. Okay? So what direction do we have to go? Medial to lateral. Excellent. So as I come along here, I'm going to locate the border. So you can sort of feel it right there. Oh. You can feel it, locate the border here. I'm going to come and start here. Nice and things for me. And which, which tip job is this? This is for tip ant. Okay? I'm going to seal and reapproximate. Overlap by half. I'm going to come around, overlap by half. <laughs> seal. And approximate. So does this happen? If the if the if the athlete has um, lotion on their legs, you <laughs> take oh, some. You you could do that. There's also um, tough skin. But in this case, what I would do first is take some hand sanitizer, and rub it on her leg, which will take off the um, oiliness of the of the cream. <coughs> um, and then you can spray with tough skin, and then go around. I mean, like athletes, they sweaty, obviously, right? So you're, you're taping them before they're sweaty, right? Oh, true. So I'm sealing. And reapproximating, and you're pulling in an upward direction because that's how the direction of the fibers. And again, we're going to go, and we're not going to cut into the muscle belly. So remember how we found the musculotendinous junction last class? You shouldn't go, go into the musculotendinous junction. Goodness gracious, you are way too slippery. Okay. Again, overlapping by half, seal, and then pull up. Now, I'm in now calf, so I'm going to seal, and I'm going to seal. Okay? Do the seals matter in no. terms of direction? No, I'm just laying. I'm not pulling. I'm just laying. And they shouldn't be too tight either. It's just to avoid this, the tape from coming off, especially when they pull their socks on and off. It sometimes starts to foil up. All right, and that's to back. Okay? Easy enough? Mm -hmm. So to post, you go in what direction? Lateral. Lateral. Pull on. <coughs> to bant? Pull back on. Anybody got that? The next tape job. 